Hey, how's it going? Drew from Eminem Maple Grove. I uh, just want to do a quick review on the, uh, this is called the RO bucket. It's a small, uh, small scale reverse osmosis system for uh, backyard enthusiasts. Uh, I, I have this for two years so far. I've been ecstatic with it. Uh, it comes in three different sizes. Uh, there's the RB5, RB10, RB15. The website is robucket.com. And uh, I have no affiliation with them whatsoever. I just, I, I, this is, and honestly, I have done maybe one other review in my life, and I think this is worthy. I haven't seen any reviews on it, so I, I feel it's worthy that it has one. Uh, smaller size is up to, uh, I think, 25 taps. The, the middle size is 25 to 75 taps. And then the larger one, which is this, the RB15, is 75 to 150 taps plus. Um, I've already maxing it out. I called Carl, the owner, who is fantastic with uh, responding to questions. Uh, I said, how can I max this out anymore? He recommended we add a, um, a booster pump. It's a feed pump to help the system flow better. It's definitely gotten a, a better flow. Uh, but I want to just go over real quick how it r operates and um, you know just let you know a couple things that I've noticed about it. So uh, there's there's you know there's uh, again I don't want to go into the whole works of it. You know Carl is best to explain that, but I just want to you know show a couple things that I've learned. So I'm going to fire it up. Uh, the, you have three lines. You have your your concentrate line, your 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 uh, your intake line, and then your uh, permeate line or where the where the water is coming out. So the, the idea is the water's coming, uh, is being drawn from this line, goes through this pump, it goes into this pre-filter, um, which is something that you know, we want to discuss right off the bat. Um, that is something you need to want to, you want to change out every 300 gallons or so of sap that goes through. Uh, we'll get back to that. But, so it goes through the pre-filter, goes through the housings, and then comes uh, out and gets, it's being split through the housings. And then at that point, you have your, your, your permeate coming out, and that's your, uh, what you're expelling, your, your water, and then the concentrate. Now, there's two different ways of doing it. You can do a single pass, which is basically just uh, you're drawing from your supply, and then your concentrate is either going to your preheater or storage, and that comes out about 4%. This is what is called a batch, batch process, where we're, we're recirculating it. That you can get up to actually 8%. I usually get it up to six and a half percent by the time I'm ready to boil. Uh, but the system that I use is I fill it all the way up. I, I run the batch. It brings it down from 55 gallons down to 20 gallons. I actually refill it with raw sap again and then run the system down again. So I wind up with about 30 gallons or so um, to, to uh, pump up. Then I take a transfer pump. I pump it up into my head tank. And that's uh, so it's just an easy one, one transfer. And that's why I do that. So uh, right now it's on. What we have is I have the needle valve completely open. And that's what you want to first you get a good flow coming out of your uh, concentrate line. Once you got a good flow, you start uh, closing down your uh, concentrate, your needle valve. So once you get um, uh, it all the way down, what's going to happen is the system's going to uh, push the pressure back into your, uh, your permeate line. And once you start seeing the water running out of it, you get a good flow of water coming out of it then you can start opening up your needle valve again. So this is, uh, you'll start seeing bubbles first and then it'll, and then it'll push out. So um, the idea is, so you want to get a, you want to split the, the, the flow. You want the same flow coming out of here as you do out of this hose. And that's, you know, you just eyeball it basically. Uh, the pressure will change, you'll set it, and then you should, you, you want to make sure you go back and check it, uh, you know, five minutes later to make sure that, that you keep that balance. Um, so, once um, once we start getting water into the system, we will be able to uh, we'll be able to split it. So, <clears throat> couple couple things I've noticed uh, with um, you know with the connections and stuff is a little tricky. It's all DC connections, uh, lightweight stuff, and unfortunately it gets pulled on a lot. And uh, so I had to reinforce everything. I, I, I taped everything with electrical tape. I, I hooked up the transformer uh, to the side of the bucket. Uh, but that's one improvement that I would recommend is, you know, maybe a uh, better, better uh, connections in that regard. But, you know, for now, like I said, minor, you can, I just tape everything up with electrical tape to keep it together. So now we've got a good flow coming out of the water. So now what we want to do is open up the uh, needle valve on the, on the concentrate. And once we get uh, a flow out of here, we want to balance them. So you want to get something like that to start off. 
Uh, and then, you know, something similar should be coming out of here. And you just leave it like that and let it, uh, you know, let it run for a little bit. And then you just want to go back and check it. Um, so as far as uh, maintenance, you want to, every night when you're done, you want to take five gallons of the permeate water and run it to the system. You open up the needle valve completely, run it, you know, after you have, after you've already pulled out your supply, run it dry, put the supply back into the uh, a full five gallon bucket of uh, permeate water, open up the needle valve, run it completely uh, through that system, run that dry, and that's how you can put it away for the night. If you're going to put it away for uh, a couple of days, I recommend you open up this housing, that's where your pre-filter is, dump out whatever water is sitting in there, um, leave that open, and, and you know, that's fine for a couple of days. Call recommends you put everything in the fridge, which, it, you know, it doesn't work. Unfortunately, uh, you don't have room for this stuff. I, I put it in my basement. It works for me. Uh, the other thing, um, if you're going to put it into a uh, dormant stage, there's a, there's a process of running hydrogen peroxide solution or a solution that Carl can provide for you. And uh, it, the, the hydrogen peroxide solution is uh, one gallon of water to a cup of hydrogen peroxide. Uh, and what you do, you put that in a gallon, you do a, uh, um, a batch out, all three hoses in the same container, and you run that for five minutes. Uh, when you start up again, at that point, I always recommend, you know, I would recommend putting a new uh, uh, filter in the uh, in the free filter, and uh, and you want to you want to flush out that uh, first can flush out all that uh, uh, the, the hydrogen peroxide solution. You can save that. You can you can reuse that. So you can you can just blow it right back into your uh, that container uh, and reuse that, recirculate that when you need to uh, to to sanitize everything. So, so that's you know that's basically how it works. You know, you, like I said, you go back here, you check it, you make sure you got a good flow. So, like I said, it slowed down a little bit. So you want to open up your needle valve, bring it back to a nice flow, check your check your water. You know, that's what you're looking for. You're looking for an even uh, an even flow between the two. And um, and and uh, once you you know once you got that even flow, it pretty much it'll it'll stay like that. You know, as long as you. Uh, um, you know, it, it runs. So uh, again, fantastic uh, unit. Uh, I highly recommend it to people that are you know looking to. Uh, it's a, it's a it's an energy saver. It's a time saver. Um, and again, like I hear I, I hear a lot of people online. Whatever, oh, I can build it myself. Um, and you can uh, for what cost and the time frame that it takes to build it, and not having the understanding of how to build it. So my decision was to spend the extra money, which was minimal as far as I'm concerned, to have him put it together um, and have the support to, to be able to go back to him and say, you know, it, without understanding how an RO system worked at the time, uh, which has been, you know, very, very beneficial in that regard. So, um, and the other thing that he, that's been pointed out is that, you know, the housings that you're going to be, get to build your own are going to be like the cheapest houses you find. These are actually high quality material that he's using. So you get, you get what you pay for. Um, and uh, you know, so um, as far as I'm concerned, you know, it's worth. I bought this pump for him. It was a very reasonable price. It wasn't uh, marked up or anything like that. You know, it was very. Uh, he was more than helpful with that. Uh, you know, it was very. You know, it, it, it's. Uh, he wants to make sure the systems work right, and and uh, and he's there for you. So, robucket.com, highly recommended. I uh, I hope you found this video uh, helpful. Questions, comments, please leave them, and 